therapy much in my adult life because I had a pretty tough childhood. I was born late into a family, so I was, I'm much younger than my two sisters. I didn't know it, but my mom was battling cancer. And my dad had a propensity for alcohol, which when she got sick, got really bad. Not understanding as a kid what alcohol is and why sometimes it'd be okay with my dad and sometimes it would be pretty off the wall and unreasonable. There's a lot of unsureness about what reality is young child having a trauma. You know, maybe they lose a parent at, at a young age. And uh, every time they think of connecting with somebody later in life, what comes up is that young perspective. If I connect, if I attach, I'll lose them. You know, who I am in the world was more of a shy person, so I didn't really, I wasn't able to create my own world, especially in high school, that could support me. So I made certain assumptions about life and who I was that I almost have to unravel at this point. Most people that I talk to have one problem that has dogged them their whole lives. I have a sort of a turning point memory in the house that I grew up in. When a memory is stored under traumatic circumstances, we know that there's a lot of adrenaline present. My sister's room had had a fire in it, and the chimney goes up through their bedroom. The essential piece is that you've been able to bring your adult perspective to that memory. They probably had cut out where that fire was, and I would bet you my mom was holding me as a baby and was looking down in the chimney to see what the damage was or whatever. If you come in for therapy and, and I ask you to think about your traumatic memory, it will light up on the right side of the brain. Now that I'm saying this, it feels like it's the right and the left brain working because I must have been in my mom's arms facing down into that as a very young baby. And that just became my reality. After your EMDR session or sessions, clear that memory, reprocess it, and we ask you to think of the memory, it'll light up on the left side of the brain. In the, in the scope of everything, what a baby sees is nothing, but it was like the ground of my fear. To change that lifted a, a whole bunch of fear. The most amazing thing for me as an EMDR therapist is in nearly every session, people find some new capacity in themselves. Because of that, being able to be more present, I'm finding that it's much easier for me to connect with people and form attachments. They walk out feeling hopeful in a way that they haven't felt their whole adult lives. They really have turned like 180 degrees in the last five years. I've just never been the same since that session. <laughs>